Good evening, Jessica Van Vonderen with ABC News Sunday. Promises to relieve health insurance premiums and to deliver future tax cuts set the scene for Federal Parliament's first sittings of the year. MPs and Senators are gathering in Canberra tonight, all vowing to concentrate on the economy and rising costs for families. But the threat of more tit-for-tat dual citizenship cases being sent to the High Court also hangs heavy on Capitol Hill, as does the security breach of Cabinet documents. National Affairs Correspondent Correspondent Greg Jennett is there. <laughs> Bound for South Australia, where Liberals are energised <laughs> to end their 16-year outage from power. Politicians will tell you that every election is important, and so they are. But this year's is especially so. Even if the year passes without a federal poll, it'll look and feel as though Malcolm Turnbull's campaigning anyway. We have already provided middle-income tax relief, we're seeking to do more. The Coalition's calling tax cuts to the rescue for struggling family budgets. Labor's gone for bill relief. So today, Labor is announcing cost of living relief, putting downward pressure on the price of increases of private health insurance. Premium increases now running at just under 4% would be locked at two for each of the first two years of a shortened government, with estimated savings of almost $150 for singles and $350 for families. If we keep going the way that we are, this product, this private health insurance product that is needed by many Australians, uh, will become unaffordable for many. Health insurers are warning two years of premium famine could be met with premium feasts. The government agrees on the dangers. The reality is Labor wants to destroy private health insurance. The duelling appeals to ease household budget stress are meant to be the main event at Parliament's return. We've just got to keep uh, talking about the things that we're doing which are benefiting Australian people. But last year's dual citizenship sideshow is still proving an irresistible attraction. But we'll let the, the legal process take its course. The gamesmanship around this issue uh, doesn't help. Labor's sought out a legal opinion that Liberal backbencher Jason Felinski should go because he's Polish. The coalition counters that it's based on false information about the MP's father. A brittle truce is holding. I think both sides of politics, all sides, need to reach sensible compromise. But it may not last for long. Will you seek to refer suspected Labor MPs to the High Court? It's a matter for a Cabinet discussion. The Parliament was marred and mired by dual citizenship last year and there's every sign it's prepared to go back there again. Only this time, Cabinet will be emboldened by the knowledge the Coalition's numbers are fully restored in the House, while Labor's lost one. Safety in numbers and security in all things have been the lessons of the last few months. So do you want to see heads roll over this? Yes, the answer is this is a disgraceful, almost unbelievable act of negligence. On that, there's bipartisan agreement, but whose head should roll remains the mystery of the Cabinet file saga.